Let me show you history up till now in four stages. Stage one, Newton's gravity. Newton said there's an invisible force. It acts at a distance instantaneously and it pulls things together. The French literally laughed at him for 50 years. What? Uh, incredible forces, sacre bleu. Uh, no, 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 that is magic. But Newton didn't care because his convenient fiction, this story about magical forces, predicted planetary motion perfectly. We literally put a man on the moon with it. Here's the key. Newton's story about gravity wasn't true. Gravity doesn't actually work that way, but his story was useful. The story allowed prediction. Stage two. Einstein's gravity. Then this lad called Einstein came along and said, actually, forget that invisible force nonsense. What's really happening is that matter bends space-time itself. It's geometry, the curvature of space and time. And suddenly we had a new convenient fiction, a better map. Einstein didn't explain what gravity is any more than Newton did, but his map was more useful, more precise. We had a new story to tell ourselves. Stage three, quantum gravity. Then quantum scientists started looking really close at tiny things and they said wait gravity isn't a force it's not a geometry it's it's an emergent phenomenon coming from microscopic quantum patterns. Another convenient fiction another story. Stage four the field. Here's where it gets really interesting. When physicists looked even more closely they realized that particles aren't things at all then ripples, excitations, something the quantum field does and then stops doing. So now we say there's a quantum field, it vibrates. When it vibrates, we call those vibrations particles. But the particles aren't real things, they are events. Only the field is real. And we have about 17 of these quantum fields. Soon, physicists hope to unify them into one universal field. Here's the pattern. Each convenient fiction is better than the last. Each one predicts reality more precisely and each one helps us navigate the world. But they're all stories, maps, useful descriptions of behavior. And we still don't know what gravity really is. We went from magic force to bent geometry to emergent property to field excitation. We never reached what gravity actually is because science doesn't work that way. Science was never designed to answer that question. Let me attempt to be very